Our climate has changed, and it's going to keep on changing. We have a good idea of what to expect globally, but not all places are affected in the same way. This is especially true for climate change hotspots, areas that experience climate change more intensely than other places. For the hundreds of millions of people living in the semi-arid hotspot regions of Africa and Asia, life is already challenging. Their climates are harsh and hard to predict. Things are likely to get worse, making the problems we face much harder to overcome. But it's these same areas that could teach us how to adapt. For thousands of years, local people have maintained a balance with nature that's allowed them to survive in difficult conditions. That's why a group of leading research and development organizations have formed ASAR. We've been studying how the climate has already changed and is expected to change in these hotspots. We want to better understand the impacts of climate change and pinpoint effective ways to adapt so that people living in these areas are better prepared for a changing world. This video has been made to share with you the most recent research that we have, so that together we can plan for the future. The Wapopo Sikasso transect in West Africa experiences strong variations in climate from decade to decade. The region also has a high exposure to dry spells, and over time, there has been significant land degradation which can lead to desertification. The average temperatures have been rising, with the highest increases in the Sahara Desert, and instances of extreme heat will also increase. The trends are higher for the semi-arid regions than for the rest of West Africa, showing us that they are a climate change hotspot. Since 1960, there has been a decrease in average rainfall per decade in almost all the months and seasons. This means that the wetter decades have not been as wet and the drier decades have been drier. Climate models project large increases in wet extremes in the future and there is evidence of the rainy season shifting later in the year for some regions. High levels of poverty, lack of social support, climate-dependent livelihoods, and gender inequalities mean that these areas are particularly vulnerable to the flooding and heavy rainfall events which are causing increasing damage in the region. Changes in land use caused by population growth, such as degradation of forests and rangelands, also have a strong and increasing influence on the vulnerability of these areas to drought. Herda farmer conflict in West Africa has increased as northern pastoralists have extended further southward into regions dominated by crop agriculture, while at the same time, farmers have expanded crop production into lands used primarily by pastoralists. In the course of the Asar project, we're going to deepen understanding of what impacts these changes will cause and what challenges this will bring for different groups, like pastoralists, women, youth and the elderly, and those living in urban and rural areas. But ASAR's aim is to go further than that. We want to understand how to face these challenges, what factors make a real difference in being able to effectively adapt to these impacts, and how to improve people's well-being. Ultimately, we want to see a shift from adaptation that happens in a piece-by-piece, short-term way, to adaptation that brings widespread, long-term changes that will help better protect people and environments. We'll be working with decision makers, practitioners and communities so that ASA research brings direct benefit in shaping and informing how the most vulnerable can adapt to the challenges ahead. Our climate is changing. It's time that we do too.